defensive stop. He starts Moses Moody in the fourth quarter here, along with Kaminga, Steph Clay, and Damian Lee. And Kendrick Williams dumps right in to match their intensity on both sides. Clay with a reload three. And Kaminga flies! This, I always go back to the Toronto game when Kaminga had 25, but he had one rebound in 36 minutes. Man. And Steve Kerr said, this kid has to rebound better than that. If you give him a six. Kaminga's got 16 to lead the Warriors tonight. Moody the 14th pick, Kaminga the 7th pick, Giddy the 6th pick. Been a fun draft for a lot of guys. Moody rails the 3. How do you sit there for 3 quarters? You come in, first shot of the night, boom. That's awesome. He's a shooter. He stays ready for another 19-year-old kid. you got to stay warm over there. It's three. And she blew the whistle. That's nice. They've done that a few times tonight. No, they have. And, and they're working with Ed Malone. Coming to Chase Center Friday, March 18th, and Saturday, March. If you haven't been to Chase Center for a concert, kind of do that. Be sure you get Lou Dort. I mean, he's having a great game. Fun watching him guard Steph. It's fun watching him score on the other end. He's got a good handle, too. Curry give and go. And okay, Gay Curry's this great perimeter shooter. He grinds behind the scenes that people don't see. Get away. For the fourth time, and Steph came up with the stop. Number five. Caps it off. Steve Kerr. Thunder that have owned the glass. Now they're going to get some offensive rebounds because they don't shoot it that well at 40%, but still. They force the miss. The defensive stop isn't done until Ooh. you get. The one thing with Moody's threes, they're all on target, right? You know, I mean, that's, he might be short or long every once in a while. That's a nice pass. Well, he's got some balance. That camera's Williams in the air. Midway through this fourth quarter, 12-point lead in the ball. Warriors looking for their ninth win in a row. Longest winning streak in the NBA currently. Moody right down the lane. Dude. Okay. Moody is not just to stand in the corner and shoot a three. We, we've seen some great attacking drives as Williams answers with the three. What a role player Kenridge Williams is for them. I like him. I like his impact. He comes in the game and he's ready to play with intensity. He's got 10 off the bench tonight. He's been scoring well in it too. Clay Thompson missing that corner three and Trey Mann the rebound. Killed this Alexander. The Thunder scuffling for offense, but they're fighting it from a number of different guys and they're finding it with extra opportunities. There's another offensive rebound now. They're becoming a problem. They've been a problem. Oh man. He yanks it back. This is that jumper, and Looney says that's enough. And pulls that board. The Warriors will use the timeout here, right about 5.02 remaining. And an 11, he has been excellent in the fourth. Kaminga has led the way with 16 points. And then Wiggins, Steph and Clay all have 15 each. I mean, it's been a great balanced Warrior performance. And it's needed to be. As Jordan Poole misses that three, and Looney keeps it alive. So it's out of bounds. That should be Warrior ball. Someone lost his shoe, Trey Mann. So the Thunder are switching everything with this lineup. Warriors need to realize that. None of the screens are going to work. They're just going to switch it. So someone's got to drive by there, man. You got to slip some screens. See if you can make them make a mistake that way. Andrew Wiggins checking back in. Everybody knows that Steph Curry is the NBA leader in plus minus, but Wiggins is top 10 in plus minus in the league. Good things happen when he's on the floor. And Wiggins taking it inside, trying to follow his own miss, but the Thunder come up with the stop. They give Kenrich Williams credit there. That was pretty good deed. Jerome, missing there, Moody and Looney. Combine on that defense. That's Looney's versatility. He did the guard guards, hold his own. Jordan getting downhill, scooping it up and in. That was Looney switching the angle of that screen. He knew his to the basket rolling. I mean, he's got the finishing IQ. He can make an adjustment. He can sidestep. He's got spin moves. He's got a lot of moves, too much to deal with. Steve Kerr has got Kaminga playing 23 minutes. He's got Moody playing the fourth quarter here. Wiggins comes up with the steal. Their help defense has been on point lately. Wiggins, head of the key three, off iron there. 
And Jordan Poole, he stepped in nicely, got it to Moody to put it up and out. That would have been an amazing finish there. What if the Warriors could close this out and Curry would not have to come back in the game? And Lou Dort fouled. And Steph is going to come to the scores table now. Want to pass along to Andre Godal has got a little bit of back tightness. That's why he went in after having a nice stint of minutes. Just to, he hadn't played in eight games and something tightened up a little bit. And Steph wants to come back in and knock down a three so he can go four for ten today at 40 <laughs> percent. Okay. No, I didn't care about that. He knows it, eventually his percentage is going to come up. Henrich Williams with a backdoor cut. And he's just a solid player. there right now. A couple extra Warrior buckets, a little comfort time, you don't worry about it. OKC okay, sitting in that 2-3 zone. They score once or twice, and the Warriors will have to work to close this out. Comes a split. Wiggins with Dort moving his feet. Dort coming out of the sun, trying to lay it up and out, but draw the foul. Mm, there's that late call again. <laughs> so Josh Giddy saw Josh Giddy all. I just think that this kid is just going to get better and better. He talked about playing in the NBL, and he said when he first started, he didn't think there was any chance he was going to get drafted. Right. And right. a couple months into the season, he still didn't think he was going to get drafted. He just got better and better. And he said watching LaMelo Ball actually gave him confidence to do that because LaMelo Ball was in that same league the year before. Right. He got there. Right. So he would watch LaMelo.